Mondays with Bob Green stars Australian Open men's singles, Novak Djokovic beat Rafael Nadal 6-3, 6-2, 6-3 women's singles, Naomi Osaka beat Petra Kvitova 7-6, 2-5, 7-6, 4 men's doubles, Pierre Hugues Herbert and Nicolas Mahieu beat Henri Continen and John Pierre 6-4, 7-6, 1, women's doubles, Samantha Stoser and Zhang Shuai beat Taima Babosh and Kristina Ledenovic 6-3, 6-4, 4 mixed doubles, Barbara Krasikova and Rajiv Ram beat Astra Sharma and John Patrick Smith 7-6-3-6-1 Junior Boys Singles Lorenzo Musetti beat Emilio Nava 4-6-6-2-7-6-12 Junior Girls Singles Clara Tawson beat Leila Annie Fernandez 6-4-6-3 Junior Boys Doubles Jonas Fordchick and Dali Boras Viarchina beat Emilio Nava and Cannon Kingsley 7-6-5-6-4 Junior Girls Doubles Natsumi Kawaguchi and Adrian Nye beat Chloe Beck and Emma Navarro 6-4-6-4 Men's Wheelchair singles, Gustavo Fernandez beat Stefan Olsen 7-5-6-3 Women's Wheelchair singles, Didi De Groot beat Yui Kami G6-0-6-2 Men's Wheelchair doubles, Joachim Gerard and Stefan Olsen beat Stefan Hude and Ben Weeks 6-3-6-2 Women's Wheelchair doubles, Didi De Groot and Annie Van Koot beat Marjolein Biz and Sabine Lerbrook 5-7-7-6-4-1-0-8 Match tiebreak quad wheelchair singles, Dylan Alcott beat David Wagner 6-4-7-6-2 Quad wheelchair doubles, Dylan Alcott and Heath Davidson beat Andy Lapthorne and David Wagner 6-3-6-7-6-1-2-1-0 Match tiebreak other Taylor Fritz Let's beat Braden Schneer 7-6-7-6-4 to win the Oracle Challenger Series Men's Singles in Newport Beach, California, USA Bianca Andreescu beat Jessica Pegularo 6-6-4-6-2 to win the Oracle Challenger Series Women's Singles in Newport Beach, California, USA Sayings When I contemplate the journey I have had the last 12 months, the surgery exactly 12 months ago, to be standing here managing to win this title in three of the four majors is amazing. I'm speechless, Novak Djokovic, after winning his record 7th Australian Open in 3rd straight Grand Slam tournament victory. Of course, he played, I think, fantastic. At the same time it's true that when he's playing that way, I think I needed something else. I was not able to have that extra thing tonight, being honest, Rafael Nadal, after losing the Australian Open final to Novak Djokovic. I mean, for me, I feel like it hasn't really sunk in. Maybe in the next tournament I play, if I see the number one next to my name, I'll feel something. But for now, I'm more happy that I won this trophy, Naomi Osaka, whose Australian Open victory boosted her ranking to number one in the world. Amazing achievement, definitely she is a great one. We'll see what the future will bring, Petra Kvitova, on her conqueror, Naomi Osaka. Congratulations on winning the Australian Open, Naomi Osaka. I am very proud of the emergence of a new queen, Shinzo Abe, Prime Minister of Japan, on Twitter. The strategy was to be aggressive, try to be the one who's leading the point. But when he's playing that far from the baseline, 10 centimeters from the baseline, all the time, it's tough to do it. Lucas Puy, after losing his semi-final to Novak Djokovic 6-0, 6-2, 6-2. It felt like a different dimension of tennis completely. He gives you no rhythm. He plays just a different game style than the rest of the players. He has this, I don't know, talent that no other player has. I've never seen a player have this. He makes you play bad. Stefanos Tsitsipas, is, after losing his semi-final to Rafael Nadal 6-2, 6, 6, 4, 6, 0. Oh. I felt like I had been hit by the train. Everything was so fast, see Mona Halep, on how she felt losing the first set in 20 minutes to Serena Williams. Seventh crown in a surprisingly easy victory, Novak Djokovic crushed Rafael Nadal to win a record seventh Australian Open title and his third straight Grand Slam tournament crown. It ranks right at the top, Djokovic said of his domination of his Spanish opponent. Under the circumstances, playing against Nadal, such an important match, it's amazing, his win moved him past Federer and Australian great Roy Emerson six Aussie Open titles. Djokovic broke Nadal five times while conceding only a single break point. And the Serb committed only four unforced errors in the first two sets.
Nadal was unable to win a point off Djokovic's serve until the ninth game, when the Serb was serving for the first set. It has been very emotional two weeks, said Nadal, who didn't lose a set until the final. Even if tonight was not my best, I had somebody that played much better, second straight there was a big hiccup before Naomi Osaka won her second straight Grand Slam tournament title. With Petra Kvitova serving, Osaka had three championship points at 5-3, 0-40. Then everything went Kvitova's way. Everything. Osaka lost 23 of the next 27 points, five straight games, before she regained her powerful game and beat her Czech opponent in three sets. I felt like I didn't want to have any regrets, the Japanese right-hander said. I think if I didn't regroup after the second set then I would have looked back on this match and probably cried or something. Osaka broke Kavitova to level the third set at 1-all. Then, she served for title at 5-4. This time, she wound up with her second straight major title, the first woman to win consecutive Grand Slam tournaments since Serena Williams won four straight in 2014-15. Kavitova played in her first Grand Slam final since winning Wimbledon in 2014, and the first since she was stabbed in the hand by an intruder in her Czech Republic home a little more than two years ago. With the victory, Osaka became the first player from Japan, man or woman, to be ranked number one in the world. Strong team playing together proved to be a huge success for American Rajiv Ram and Barbara Krasikova of the Czech Republic. Ram and Krasikova beat Australian wildcards John Patrick Smith and Astra Sharma to win the Australian Open mixed doubles title. Krasikova, who is ranked number one in the world in doubles, earned her third Grand Slam tournament title. She teamed with compatriot Katarina Sinekova to capture the women's doubles at both the French Open and Wimbledon in 2018. It was Ram's first major crown, having lost the 2016 US Open mixed doubles final. The only other time Ram and Krasikova were partners was at the Australian Open two years ago. Show proof Frenchman Pierre Hugues Herbert and Nicolas Mahieu completed a career Grand Slam when they won their first Australian Open men's doubles, besting Henri Continent of Finland and Australian John Piers in the final. Herbert and Mahieu added the Melbourne Park title to their US Open, Wimbledon and French Open titles. We knew when we won Roland Garros that it was the one missing, so for sure it added maybe a special motivation when entering this tournament. Herbert said, I think we wanted it but we also wanted to be good on court in each match and we focused on the game, and that's why maybe today we could achieve what we achieved here at the Australian Open. The Frenchman became the first time to complete a career Grand Slam since brothers Bob and Mike Bryan did it at Wimbledon in 2006. Successful pairing Samantha Stozer and China's Zhang Shuai teamed up for their first Grand Slam doubles title, defeating defending champions Taima Babos and Kristina Ledenovic in the final. Stozer is the first Australian to win the Australian Open the women's doubles since Alicia Molik teamed with Svetlana Kuznetsova of Russia in 2005. Stozer won the 2005 US Open and the 2006 French Open with Lisa Raymond. It was Zhang's first major title. Starring juniors Kara Tossen of Denmark continued her victorious streak by capturing the junior girls' title, defeating Leila Annie Fernandez in straight sets in the final. The 16-year-old Tossen, third in the world in the International Tennis Federation junior rankings, has won her fifth title in her last seven tournaments. Top-seeded Lorenzo Musetti took the boys' title, edging American Emilio Nava in 2 hours, 7 minutes. Musetti saved a match point at 11-12 before winning the third set tiebreak 14-12 to become the first Italian winner in Melbourne. He won just three more points than Nava in the match. Skipping Fed Cup Australian Open finalist Petra Kvitova will not play for the Czech Republic in its first-round Fed Cup tie against Romania. She defends her titles in St. Petersburg the week before that and in Doha the week after, Kavitova's manager, Miroslav Cernosik, announced. Neither I nor Captain Petr Pauli expect her to take part, Cernosik said he expects Kavitova will play Fed Cup later in the year. 
signed up Australian Open champion Naomi Osaka and Juan Martin Del Potro will defend their BNP Paribas Open titles in Indian Wells, California, USA, in March. They led the top 75 ranked men's and women's players to sign up for the hardcore tournament. Del Potro missed the Australian Open while recovering from a knee injury. Other former champions in the March 4-17 event include Novak Djokovic, Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, Serena Williams, Simona Halep, Maria Sharapova, Caroline Wozniacki and Victoria Azarenka. Scorching heat A heat wave that affected play at the Australian Open was just what American Danielle Collins wanted. But it was not to be. With her semi-final match against Petra Kvitova not at at 4 all after 35 minutes, play was halted because of the heat and, following the tournament's rules, the retractable roof on Rod Laver Arena was closed. With the roof closed, play was resumed in Kvitova 1-7, 6-2, 6-0. They need to start the match the way it's going to finish, I think, a disappointed Collins said, I think they do that in football, and I think it certainly changed a little bit of the rhythm in the match. Under the closed roof, Kavitova's level of play rose substantially. Honestly, I like playing in the heat, said Collins, who won two NCAA titles while a student at the University of Virginia. Don't get me wrong. It certainly has its challenges. I grew up in Florida, yeah, and am used to it being really hot all the time. So, I kind of embrace that very well. Indoor tennis is a different game. Collins had an 0-5 record in Grand Slam play until this Australian Open, where she upset second-seeded Angelique Kerber, 14th-seeded Julia Gorges and 19th-seeded Carolina Garcia. Sidelined Vasek Pospisil has undergone successful back surgery and will be sidelined for the next three months. A former Wimbledon doubles champion, the 28-year-old Canadian underwent the operation in New York City. By removing the abnormal disc material that was pressing on a nerve root, combined with proper post-operative rehabilitation, he is expected to make a full recovery, spinal physician Frank Camisa said. Shared performances Newport Beach men, Robert Galloway and Nathaniel Lamons beat Roman Arniotto and Andre Vasilevsky 7-5-7-6-1, Newport Beach women, Haley Carter and Ina Shibahara beat Taylor Townsend and Yanina Wickmeyer 6-3-7-6-1, Surfing Street. Petersburg, http colon slash slash lt dot com slash n slash wahin, http colon slash slash www dot thailand open huahin dot com slash davis cup, https colon slash slash www dot davis cup dot com slash n slash cordoba, https colon slash slash portal dot auto entrada dot com slash montpelier, https colon slash slash www dot open dot com slash fr slash home sophia https colon slash slash www.eventum bg slash bg slash valetti slash sophia dash open dash 2019 dash sports dash hall dash arena dash army dash 507868 slash event dot html dallas http colon slash slash www.tennis championship soft dallas dot com slash fed cup https colon slash slash www.fedcup dot com slash tournament this week women $823,000 St. Petersburg Ladies Trophy, Street Petersburg, Russia, hard $250,000 Toyota Thailand Open presented by Yit Wahin, Thailand, hard Davis Cup qualifiers first round Brazil vs. Belgium at Uberlandia, Brazil, Clay Germany vs. Hungary at Frankfurt, Germany, Hard Colombia vs. Sweden at Bogota, Colombia, Clay Uzbekistan vs. Serbia at Tashkent, Uzbekistan, Hard Switzerland vs. Russia at Biel, Switzerland, Hard Austria vs. Chile at Salzburg, Austria, Clay Australia vs. Bosnia, Herzegovina at Adelaide, Australia, Hard Kazakhstan vs. Portugal at Astana, Kazakhstan, Hard Slovakia vs. Canada at Bratislava, Slovakia, Clay India vs. Italy at Kolkata, India, Grass Czech Republic vs. Netherlands at Ostrava, Czech Republic, Hard China vs. 
Japan at Guangzhou, China, hard tournaments next week men $589,680 Cordoba Open, Cordoba, Argentina, Clay $540,310 Open Sud de France, Montpellier, France, had $540,310 Sofia Open, Sofia, Bulgaria, hard $135,400 The RBC Tennis Championships of Dallas, Dallas, Texas, USA, hard Fed Cup First Round World Group Czech Republic vs. Romania at Ostrava, Czech Republic, Hard Belgium vs. France at Liège, Belgium, Hard Germany vs. Belarus at Branchi, Germany, Hard USA vs. Australia at Asheville, North Carolina, USA, Hard World Group 2 Switzerland vs. Italy at Biel, Switzerland, Hard Latvia vs. Slovakia at Riga, Latvia, Hard Japan vs. Spain at Kitakyushu, Japan, Hard Netherlands vs. Canada at Esser Togenblash, Netherlands, Clay Group 1, Round Robin, America Zone at Medellin, Colombia, Clay, Group A, Paraguay, Mexico, Colombia, Ecuador, Group B, Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Puerto Rico, Chile Asia, Oceania Zone at Astana, Kazakhstan, Hard, Group A. Kazakhstan, India, Thailand, Group B, China, South Korea, Indonesia, Pacific Oceania Europe, Africa Zone at Zelonogora, Poland, Hard, Zone A, Group A, Russia, Poland, Denmark, Group B, Ukraine, Estonia, Bulgaria, Sweden Europe, Africa Zone at Bath, Great Britain, Hard, Zone B, Group A, Great Britain, Hungary, Greece, Slovenia, Group B, Serbia, Croatia, Turkey, Georgia, Croatia, Turkey Novak Djokovic.